Hi everyone, welcome to the Skybird Wash TV chain interview. Thank you so much for joining us. My name is Sylvia Nyaga and today we're joined by Troy Akini. She's the project support and maintenance engineer at EcoCycle Limited. Welcome so much, Troy. How are you today? Thank you, Sylvia. I am well yourself. How are you? I'm um, well, thank you. So today we decided to talk about wastewater recycling. Why did you decide on this topic? Um, I chose this topic majorly because uh, it's not a topic that most people discuss. And if they do, um, they do not discuss it in regards to recycling. Yet uh, wastewater is a very important resource just as well as um, clean water is and um, if not handled well it can pose a threat both to the environment and to human life so wastewater is composed of basically uh, 95 to 97 percent water and um, the solid waste part of it or rather the other waste the black uh, water waste of it is uh, three to five percent so you realize that when recycled, we're able to get back a huge percentage of water, which can be reusable uh, in different ways, like replenishing groundwater. It can be reused for food production. Um, and in this way, as long as it goes back to the ground, then we evade issues of pollution and we are able to give back um, the ecosystem water that meets good standards and water that is able to be treated further by nature. So that's why I chose this topic because I want, um, I would like people to start discussing it in this regard, yes. Yeah, that's very true. And I think especially at a time where we have water shortage, like if we could recycle um, wastewater, it would definitely go a long way in like replenishing um, the water we have right now. Um, yeah, and I, I think you've also mentioned uh, in terms of pollution, if it's not handled well, uh, then it could lead to um, adverse effects. So could you tell us the most interesting fact you know about this topic? Well, the most interesting fact would be um, about 80% of wastewater that is produced worldwide is usually released back to the environment, one, um, either without being treated or two, without being reused. Um, this translates to probably about 1.8 billion people um, get their water from a contaminated source. Like I said, um, if this uh, resource is not reused well, then it can pose a threat to, to both humanity and the environment. And these statistics clearly shows that uh, most people do not get uh, safe and clean water for usage and, the, and this is because of the pollution that happens in the ground without us knowing. Yeah, 80% is such a large number. I also wasn't aware if 80%, 80% is very huge. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, if you, true. If you had magic powers, is there anything you would do? You would, uh, hmm. you would change about how we work with wastewater recycling. Yes, if I had magic powers, um, I would change people's mindset about wastewater to stop thinking about it as something that is usually very bad and start thinking about it like a good thing. You know, the way you think about uh, something you like, be it maybe a song that you like, and you, just, you can talk about it with so much zeal and so much happiness. Um, that's the way I would, I would, if I had magic powers, um, I would make uh, people start looking at wastewater as a good thing. It's like a source of uh, a good kind of gold in the bad way, if, if, it, if that makes any kind of sense, yeah. Yeah, it makes a lot of sense. I mean, I also wish that um, people would learn about wastewater recycling, uh, maybe make people more aware. I think also the mentality that we have normally is since it's wastewater, it's waste and it needs um, just to be deposited. And a lot of people don't care where it goes beyond their homes. Once it's out in the sewer lines, then 
that's it. So yeah, I agree with you. <laughs> that would be a great superpower. So for my last question, uh, this is a more interesting, fun kind of question. So if Absolutely. aliens landed on Earth today and they asked you to go with them, to take you home <laughs> with them, would you go? <laughs> uh, wow, if an alien landed here, obviously, no, I would not go because the home I know best is Earth. This is where we've all been brought up. And uh, okay, a part of me would want to go so that I know how their world is and see how they live in their world. But a higher percentage of me would, would really not go because I feel more comfortable being where I know, which is Earth, which is our home right now, as opposed to something I do not know, yeah. Okay, that's interesting. Thank you so much for joining us today, Troy. And for everyone who's tuned in, thank you so much. Um, I'd enc I encourage you to tune in next time when Troy is interviewing our next guest. Thank you, Troy. Oh, thank you so much, Sylvia. Okay, bye-bye. Bye, thank you.